I know many people were just asking about the next-gen upgrades coming for Boosteroid, and I have news. Actually, I have more than that. I have benchmarks and gameplay on the new Boosteroid hardware coming soon. Let's get right into it. Now, if you're unaware of the upgrades I'm referring to, we had an interview with Boosteroid VP Vlad Kosman regarding everything Boosteroid is working on. Feel free to check out this video for most of the anticipated upgrades we're looking forward to. Now, before I get into the benchmarks, I want to let you know that Boosteroid has not implemented the new features like the surface level frame generation and FSR. This will purely be the performance and specs of the hardware upgrades in this video. Now, Boosteroid only had a few games to try out in their new hardware configuration, but I only had access to about two games that had benchmarks. More will be coming soon, so make sure you're subscribed for that. So I'm going to start with one of the latest demanding games with a benchmark, Assassin's Creed Shadows. They had this game available on Steam, but not Ubisoft Connect. Now, I'll be running this at 4K, and my first benchmark will be default settings of high, but with FSR set to performance and frame gen on. We'll check the hardware at the end. So yes, they went with exactly what they said they were looking into, an AMD Ryzen 9 9000 series, the 9900X to be exact. I also found out it's using 8 cores hyper-threaded into 16. They are also running the AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT, along with a whopping 48GB of RAM. Now for those looking for raw power, I also ran a benchmark with no AI or fake frame technology with max settings at 4K. Let's see how it performs.
definitely a bit of a different result here. The GPU was super bottlenecked. I will be comparing these results to other platforms soon. I think you know who I'm talking about. Now on to Cyberpunk 2077. I ran the classic favorite, the Ray Tracing Ultra preset at 4K. But this benchmark threw me off. Something really weird happened. The benchmark starts out great. Look at these numbers. Frames hit in the 200s. Now be aware that this machine is an R&D machine located in Ukraine. I had well over 100 milliseconds of latency and some stuttering did occur. Overall, the stream was generally pretty good though. And I'm not testing any competitive games for this video, so it wasn't a big concern. Now I ran this benchmark a number of times, but the benchmark gave me real issues right about in this area. Did you see that? The FPS tanks, and I have no idea why. It felt like something quits or a driver fails or something like that. Frame gen might have died, I'm not sure. But here's a note to Boostroid to check it out. The overall numbers were good, but I never hit these numbers I got in this benchmark ever again. Definitely something to look into. Let's test some gameplay. Now the Steam stats indicate that the benchmark is actually pretty close to the frame rate I got on a normal basis in game. It's a bit lower, but that usually happens in Cyberpunk. And again, I had around 140 milliseconds of latency, so I didn't play too well. Things look pretty great though. Things are still on the Ray Tracing Ultra preset. Now to answer some questions. Does this new architecture run all games? I don't know yet. I didn't get access to any games like EA games that are unplayable. So when is this set to launch? Well, I'm still waiting for an answer for the release date for these upgrades. They're gonna get back to me soon, so make sure you're subscribed for that update. So, if you like this update for Boosteroid, give us a like. Also, make sure to join as a member of the channel or join our Patreon and our Discord in links below. And above all else, make sure to subscribe to keep it locked right here at the only place we can do battle in gaming heaven, Cloud Gaming Battle.